All right. Hi, everyone. This is Jesse from the Annapolis Valley Chamber of Commerce, and I've got Clinton from Triple E Technologies here to speak with us today. Uh, so, Clinton, now more than ever, everyone is being forced to use technology to connect with others. Um, as your business is part of this industry, I thought you would be able to share with us uh, some of the tools that are out there that everyone could use during this time. Sure. Okay. Absolutely. Um, the uh, some of the tools that uh, that we're seeing a lot of people use and we're recommending um, is certainly Microsoft Teams is the one we've seen and use uh, kind of the most for our clients. Most of our clients already have Microsoft Office 365, and they uh, that one is a bit more secure, kind of end to end. For uh, okay. so if you're talking about private things um, like for healthcare industry, some of our clients that are more confidential stuff, that's the one we recommend. The downfall is there's only four screens at once and people kind of come in and out as they're talking. Uh, okay. Zoom has been widely uh, used right now. The only caution I kind of have for people on Zoom is there's a couple of security vulnerabilities that have been found recently. Zoom has put out a statement they're working on those over the next 90 days, but the biggest one right now is the Windows client. If you share a link with the group, uh, depending on the type of link, some of your passwords for your, your actual Windows password could be sent out or could be hacked. So just some uh, awareness on sharing. Yep. Okay, so that's good to know. Perfect. Yep. But it All is right. very good. I would recommend people using it because you can see everyone at once and it works really well. Just be mindful of security stuff behind it. Right, gotcha. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, so far we've been having success with it. We like it. Yeah, yeah. that's okay, good. good. But that's good to know. Perfect. Okay, so, um, so we're also wondering how you how you have been conducting business lately and how your customers have been responding uh we've been working uh, mostly remotely uh we've got everybody all the staff working from home we have a software version of the of our phone system connected to all of our cell phones so we're answering calls as per normal when we're in the office um, and then because we it has been deemed an essential service by the province uh, depending on the situations for emergencies and other things we are going to site but it's on a case-by-case -case basis, and we're also um, following the guidelines of the, of the province for public health and everything. Great. Right. Okay, interesting. That's good to know. Yep. Awesome. So what have been your biggest challenge so far? Um, really, when we first started out, it became apparent very quickly that the connection that we have as a team was starting to struggle a little bit because we're a team that meets all together around the table every morning, talking about our days, talking about right. uh, client tickets, that stuff. And even the same at lunch as we're sitting around eating lunch, we're just, we're just communicating all the time throughout the day. So as we were working remotely, we had our initial kind of team meeting, but then throughout the day, people were feeling a bit more disconnected. So then we actually implemented a, a, a meeting at one o'clock in the afternoon, just as kind of a check-in. And then we're finding more and more people are, are doing random kind of video calls with each other just to keep that connection going. Cause that, that to me was probably the biggest challenge at first. Yeah, um, that's working a bit better now. And then the second one would probably be stock levels because initially people were buying up, up, especially laptops like crazy. So getting them oh, no was really a challenge just so people could work from home. We right. were fortunate that just on, happened to be on a weekend. I was checking my supplier and a stock had arrived at one of the suppliers. So I grabbed a bunch of them. So we do have stock. Okay. <laughs> so we were able to support clients. But that was a, that was a struggle that some stuff was looking like it wasn't going to arrive until mid-April to May. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure a lot of people have struggled with the whole communication piece with their staff and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. You're not, you're not alone. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. So of course um, there's always challenges and the negative side of things. What have been some positive things that have come out of this um, for you in the business? Um, some of the positive things is really been uh, kind of streamlining our own internal processes. We, we kind of realized that we talk so much as a group, that that's almost our process is to bounce things off of each other. And we didn't really have a, what I would call a, a great like specific, if this happens, go to this, if this happens, go to that as, as far as like a, a true process for each kind of thing. So right, okay. it, it's helped us to kind of highlight some of that and we're, we've been working on doing those things. Perfect, that's awesome. And, so and we've also even had uh, uh, customers uh, that have realized we're really glad that you uh, that you've set us up for some disaster planning and, and some of the equipment and things we put in place for them because they were able to work from home 
with very minimal setup on our part um, right. versus some other people who are really struggling. How do I get to my files that are at my office while I'm at home? That's right. Yeah. Good point. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So um, last thing, is there anything that your customers can do for you or is there anything else you'd like to share with us before we go? Uh, really, I would uh, just want to put out there, we're here to help. Um, just, uh, spread the word to anybody you can that's struggling at home right now, trying to use technology, trying to get connected, trying to keep working. We're mm -hmm. here. So just give us a call, send us an email. And uh, we can certainly uh, point you in the right direction. We can work remotely for 90% of what we do. So we can just pop on a quick uh, remote session, get you set up in the right direction and, and off you go. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, that yeah. you can do that. That's great. Yeah. All right. Well, those are all the questions I have for you today. Um, thanks for taking the time to speak with us um, and stay well. Thanks. You too. Okay. Thanks. See ya. See ya.